Welcome to the 33rd edition of the Queenstown Sports Show. A bit of a cricketing special. It's probably why Tanya's nowhere to be seen, bless her. Uh, kudos to the shot over Rhinos cricket team. They got their first win of the local T20 cricket competition on Friday night. Uh, they beat Calvin Heights at the Queenstown Event Centre in mint conditions. Catch it, boy, catch it! Naturally, the boys were pretty pumped on their win. Uh, Lockie Marshall, <laughs> Justin Sun, thought the boys were in with a bit of a chance before taking the winning catch. 40 from 4? Yeah, or 5 maybe, I don't know, one or the other. It's tight. It's tight cricket. And Boytown, the Boytown Changes scored some runs in front of the capacity crowd in their round 7 game, posting 180 with Alex Coates proving very saucy with 72 runs. Really happy man, first for by town as well. Nice start. <laughs> um, look, some class shots out there, but some question on the field as well. <laughs> Just about, yeah, 12 drop catches I think. But take what you get. What sort of thoughts, feelings we got on board town at uh, this stage in the season? Is it too late to launch an attack? We've had a slower start, but I reckon a couple more wins now. I reckon we're getting the top four. Fern Hill. Eventually met the same demise as their sponsor and faded at 113, trying to chase down that 180. Rest in peace, Buffalo Club. And Jack's Point beat Wakatipu. The Warlords there went down in Jack's Point, thanks to Kevin Oldenburg's unbeaten 61. Nicely done, Angel. Sadly, still no answers from the ICC or New Zealand cricket in lieu of our investigation into why there isn't any one day is here at Queenstown the John Davies Ogle has been neglected. Welcome to New Zealand Cricket. I tried, I tried again to no avail. Good afternoon New Zealand Cricket, I'm speaking. Good day Emma, I was hoping to talk to whoever is responsible for allocating fixtures please. You are, I recognise your voice, are you the Queenstown? Yeah. Yeah, I did pass that message on, I think you might have been back a second. No, no, just being right. left in the cold like the event centre in the John Davies Oval there. <laughs> ah, nice, nice analogy there. Okay, um... It's cricket. And lastly, the construction of the new Arrowtown Community Centre is complete, which is the new home of Arrowtown Rugby. Uh, you can head down to their open day this Saturday, there's going to be some big players, some big dogs. Jim Bolt the Mayor, might be cutting the ribbon. Uh, we got Simon Spark, representing the Arrowtown Rugby Club down there. You don't need an RSVP to this one, just rock up after 9 o'clock on Saturday morning. Is it too soon to be talking about rugby? Yeah. But, what well, this feels weird to say, Super Rugby is 24 days away as of time of filming, so that's kind of... I wrap your head around that one. And that's it for the sports show today. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Right, it was 22 years ago today that Shooter McGavin blew a four shot lead on the back nine, the tour champion, and ended up giving the tour championship to Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. <laughs>